I've talked before on the show about the new pop-up art gallery, which has taken the place of Fast Buck Freddy's for right now. Now, this is a treasure trove for art lovers. It features the work of so many amazing artists in the community. Well, they're having a little twist there this week. It's called Pop-Up Author Night, and it will also feature the work of so many amazing local authors, including my next guest this morning, who is the author of the fabulous book you see behind me, The Key West Bucket List. David, thank you for being with me, along with Daniela. Thank you for being with it's me. It's great this to morning. be back. Nice <laughs> well, to see you again. It's wonderful having both of you here. And David, we're going to get into your books in just a minute, but I want to talk with Daniela for just a minute about this big event you have coming up this weekend. Well, it's really nice. We have so many talented artists in Monroe County in the Florida Keys, and this way we're going to be able to feature our writers this time. So we have mystery writers, we have local poets, we have folk storytellers and as well as people that give you your everyday fun advice in the Florida Keys. <laughs> Wonderful. Tell me about some of the authors. Well, we have over 20 authors that are going to be there signing, re signing their books as well as doing short readings. So we have David, of course, Mandy Miles, Michael Haskin. We're going to have um, Ben Harrison, who is also part of the pop-up gallery with the Harrison Gallery, the, the Lorraines, which is Bill and Ann, mm -hmm. and Ann was also the great window designer for Fast Buck Freddy's. And then, of course, we have our local favorite, Sherry Sweet Tea Tool, who's going to be reading from Cosmo the Boat Cat, and a lot of other ones. Wonderful. And you came up with this event, didn't you, Daniela? Yeah, I like to come up with ideas that are really quick and fast. And since we don't know how long we're going to be able to utilize this space, we want to take advantage of some fun, different things that haven't occurred before. Mm -hmm. And now all the authors are going to be on hand to sign their books Correct. as well? Yes. Okay, so the copies of their books will be there. So, David, how many books are you going to have there? Oh, I'll, I'll have several books. I'm <laughs> going to bring all my titles. Uh, okay. I've got about 10 out right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to package them where people will be able to buy the entire Phantom Press mm -hmm. gift set. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll be there to sign them all, and uh, we'll be offering great deals on them, too. Okay. Now, what's it like for you, David, to be able to work with so many other local authors? I like? love this. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, a lot of authors, they hang out together, and they'll be friends. But to get this many together in one place, um, it, it's something that doesn't happen very often, right. and uh, authors are always a very unique bunch. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, I've, I've been to book signings with the other authors where uh, we didn't sell a single book and we all had the best time, <laughs> and some of the most amazing <laughs> stories came out. But uh, that was out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So this one, it's going to be great uh, having this many people there. Um, it's, it's just one of those don't miss events. Mm -hmm. And now, David, let's talk about what you're doing right now. You recently released. The Key West Bucket List. Well, I, yes. I guess it was last year. It, it was about a year ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we you're working on two. Yeah, we just went into second printing with that one. So the mm -hmm. Bucket List has done very well. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been working on a Key Lime Pie cookbook. Okay. And I was doing that for about five years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, my computer was stolen, uh, you know, lost manuscripts, mm -hmm. lost recipes. So <laughs> I'm rebuilding it. Okay. And I really believe it's going to be out in time for Christmas. Okay, that's wonderful. And now, I didn't. Wait, first of all, I didn't know you could cook, David. Yeah, you know, my first job was as a baker okay. when, I was, when I was 16 years old. We, uh, we had a baker who was narcoleptic, mm. and he actually <laughs> fell asleep on the job, mm. literally fell asleep, and he fell down and he broke both his wrists. Uh, and my boss said, how would you like to be a baker? You were thrown in the fire. I, I said, I don't know how to bake. He said, it pays six fifty an hour. <laughs> I was making three thirty-five an hour. Okay. I said, lunch, you know, the buns will be ready in time for lunch. <laughs> so I started baking, started making pies and cakes, and then uh, I trained under South Florida Chef of the Year, went to mm -hmm. hospitality school, and uh, so it's always been a passion of mine. Uh -huh. And um, now you're creating an actual cookbook. I like to write about what I know, and uh, so okay, that's okay. the next step. Wonderful. Well, the Key West Bucket List was such a, such a hit, so I'm sure this one will be a hit as well. I hope so. <laughs> All right, Daniela, tell our viewers again the times that they need to be there this weekend. Sunday, August 19th, and the event goes from 6 to 8, and because they are authors, I'm sure it's going to extend a little bit longer. Um, Fast Buck Freddy's is open every night with the artist until 11 o'clock, so we really don't have any time restraints, but the main activity is from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay, now I'm going to ask both of you before we go, is there an author, Daniela, besides David, that you're looking forward to talking and meeting with? Yeah, um, her name is J.M. Varela, and she just wrote the book Inside the Head of a Conk Woman, mm -hmm. and when I opened up the very first short story poem, it reminded me of myself as a child since I was born and raised here. So I'm really looking forward to her readings and to meeting her. Mm -hmm. And I have read that book, and yeah. it's great. 
What about you, David? Ben Harrison. Mm -hmm. uh, he was Undying Love was the first book I read when I got here, mm -hmm. uh, and I've always loved Ben. Um, and of course, Mandy. I'm reading her new book now. Yeah. Uh, and Mandy and I are friends, so I get to see her a lot. But it's always nice seeing her out with the public. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Sherry Sweet Tool. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, Cosmo the Boat Cat. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Yeah, <laughs> I like Cosmo the Boat Cat. Yeah. And too. then you know, Mike, Michael Haskins. He's mm -hmm. another favorite. Uh, Carol Tedesco. There's there's a lot of people who I love because they're great people and they're great writers. Mm -hmm. so. Wonderful. So a big event coming up with. So many amazing authors like yourself, David. Oh, you're too sweet. Thank you guys so much for sharing this with us. Thank, Thank you for having us. We're going to be right back after these messages, so please stay with me.